That was the great Melissa Manchester performing her hit Midnight Blue with Dolly Parton. Now the Grammy winner is coming to Vegas performing in the Broadway show Funny Girl starting March 26th at the Smith Center. We're so happy to get to chat with Melissa. How are you, <laughs> Melissa? I'm excellent. I'm so happy to be with you. Oh, absolutely. And um, are you excited about coming to Vegas? Um, and what's, what's your experiences with Vegas? We know you've been here many times. I've been there a ton, and I've been at the Smith Center a ton. It is so beautiful. I've never been in the theater, and I cannot wait for all of you to see this production of Funny Girl. I'm playing Mrs. Rose Bryce, the mother of Fanny Bryce. And this is the first national tour of the musical in 60 years. It's never been done before. Wow. And wait till you hear our magnificent star, Katerina McCrimmon. She's just spectacular. It's a cast of 30. It's a full complement of musicians in the pit. It's just, you know, and you're going to hear music that everybody's grown up with people and don't rain on my parade. It, it's just thrilling. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it is. And yeah, great songs uh, from Funny Girl. Uh, you're real quick, though, and we'll get back to Funny Girl. But I, I just, you know, when you belt out, don't cry out loud. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's just there's not many things better than that. And you, you must get a thrill still performing that song and seeing the audience, I'm sure, participate. Because this is one of those songs where you're in your car and just yeah. belting out the, the chorus of that song while yes. you're driving. Uh, yes, it, it, that song was a gift to me by my dear friends, Carol Sager and Peter Allen. And what it has meant to so many people over the decades has been, it, it, it's been beyond description. You know, I've been performing in Vegas since the Riviera was owned by Michel Rickless. Uh -huh. and, um, and I've seen Vegas change uh, often, and it's always a thrill to be there. You've been, you've been coming to Vegas, so I, I would come as a little boy. I've been here 18 years, but as a little uh -huh. boy, you were there when they would still put the, the, the lettering on the marquees, right? We didn't have digital yet. It was, you know, was Melissa me. Manchester <laughs> in, in big yes. block letters, right? That's exactly right. Yes, that's exactly right. At the right. Riv. Yeah. Yes. Now, uh -huh. all right, so getting back to Funny Girl, uh, you know, this, this is something, we, you know, we, of course, we think of Barbara Streisand, right? Sure. Yeah, so what, that, that, that's got to be nice to be a sort of a part of that family tree. Well, the, the fact that this is literally a historic event, the fact that this has never been on tour ever, mm -hmm. and, it's, and the audiences are just loving, screaming and cheering this show, uh, it's a great big cast. It's it's so beautiful to look at and to take the journey. Um, it's and so many young people are coming to see it. It's it's just beautiful, really. Yeah, this is going to be great. So March 26th through the 31st. So it's yes. coming up pretty quick. So you got to get your tickets mm -hmm. over there. And yeah, the Smith Center, Melissa, has just been a dream for Vegas locals. Uh, you oh. know, be, yeah, because back in the day, as you know, the only places that would have it would be the Strip, and that didn't usually last very long. Whereas That's now we have our own, yeah, we have our own arts. Yeah, and, yeah. No, this is Symphony Park is just sublime. Yeah, and uh, I'm always thrilled to to play there and to be part of Funny Girl. It's just going to be the thrill of a lifetime. For sure. And then your new album? Yes, my 25th album, Review, has just been released with special guests Kenny Loggins and I singing our song, Whenever I Call You Friend, and yeah. Dolly Parton, the Queen, and I singing Midnight Blue. And it's made up of, of several of my charted hits, and it's really my gift back to the fans. And uh, well, that's it was good. a joy to me. It, it, yeah. It's ironically, my co host, Alyssa, thought it would be fun to show me. Um, who was it? It was Dolly and, and who else doing the acrylic oh, nails? Pat, Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle and Dolly Parton putting their acrylic nails together, making an instrument. I don't think that's part of the album, right? No, we <laughs> missed that part. <laughs> that was yeah, pretty funny, but though, too. She was just spectacular to work with. Excellent. All right, we'll see you when you get here. 
Thank you so 